I am definitely still trying to figure all this out. So just bear with me. I'm trying to uh, do it this way so I can see everything behind me. Um, I'm trying to uh, basically run the camera, do the makeup and everything myself because I had one of my best friends that was going to be actually helping with the channel. He got really sick and he's not here. Um, hope he gets better. Been my best friend since I was like, I don't know, 16, 15, 16 years old, getting all, got in all kind of trouble with him growing up. Uh, but get the feeling better, buddy. Uh, he's got a couple of awesome uh, channels everybody should check out. Uh, uh, his name of his channels are Fishing with Big Nasty and Restaurant Reviews of Big Nasty. And the restaurant reviews are... Um, are pretty wild because there's a lot of them that I'm in and there's a few places we've actually went to eat. Uh, like one particular uh, place went to uh, uh, an event with a creeper truck and uh, had, uh, uh, we pulled up to this KFC and got out and grabbed some KFC and we were eating on the back of the tailgate and we were in there talking about getting, you know, chicken and everything else. And once they found out the creeper truck was sitting outside, everybody just was running outside. It was funny. We couldn't hardly eat meat. People kept coming up, but, uh, Anyway, you should check his channels out. They're pretty awesome. Um, and if you're into fishing, oh my gosh, he catches some huge fish. I mean, stuff that I'm like, mm, I'd shoot that with a gun. But uh, anyway, I'm bad about jumping off topic, so I'll get back to it. Um, I'm going to kind of pan the, I'm going to basically set the camera on the tripod for a second. And then I'm going to try to um, basically start talking through some of the things um, um some of the things that I have behind me. Um, some of the, the chat, uh, some of the chat items that are on here, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to actually, I'm having to do everything. So I'm, if I'm going to try to get back and answer all the questions, but it's going to be a little bit difficult at first. So just please bear with me, uh, you know, but I'm going to try to get to everybody's uh, questions and stuff when it comes to some of that stuff. But uh, let me get this set up and I'll start talking about the mask and everything. All right, so it's <laughs> I've got room slash monster room, but uh, we're gonna set this right in here. Come on now, don't be like that. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when I first got involved with this, as far as uh, the makeup and stuff, my first creeper suit was this one that's actually back here. And what's unique about this one is the, the headpiece and everything was actually done by the guys who made the movie. This is actually the, one of the first prototype masks they made at uh, Maple Monster Studios. Uh, you know, it has a lot more of the traditional look than a lot of the stuff. Uh, but Brian Pinnacus, uh, they actually made these and sold them one time. And all you really had to do with this one is basically paint your eyes. And then uh, normally I'd have to put like a washcloth or something to foam up on the top of it just to keep, because it had to set a certain way and I'd put something in the back to kind of push the mask up because it was a little bit, it kind of bobbed around in my head a little bit. So uh, with this one, I was, I was still learning everything. I first just got into it. So I was using cake makeup, which is nasty. Um, it gets on everything. You have to wipe your mask out every night. It goes bad at the end of the season. Not really that great, but uh, you know, this, this was the first mask I, I did this. And this mask actually came with this hat. They don't make these anymore. Uh, but you know, the hat went on like that and it was, you know, the, you seen them in the pictures and stuff. So it's, it's, it's pretty neat about how everything went with that. So, uh, but it, uh, it, 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 I used it for quite a few years. It was pretty awesome. But let's see. So that was uh, my first mask that I used. And then after that, I ended up uh, had this other mask that I think actually this is actually a prototype that didn't, didn't go anywhere. It kind of messed up on the mold. So we ended up just taking it and throwing it out. It kind of looks like old man toothless thing. <laughs> anyway, um, and then 
the mask that actually worked I used before that and it this actually tore up so I'm just kind of going through it because you know I've had a bunch of these um, but this is you know it's not going to go together very well but I mean you can see the pieces that went to it and stuff uh, but you know with this one I had I started getting into using the different makeups and stuff and uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this um, the uh, makeup that I use is an alcohol based makeup um, I'm going to make sure the camera's right so y'all can see what's going on because I don't want to uh, not show you. So, so the makeup is, like I said, alcohol based. And uh, uh, this basically you have to use 99% alcohol to activate it. And uh, the, my makeup of choice, what I like to use, is a skin illustrator. Now, when I first got into using the Skin Illustrator, it uh, I was buying the palettes, which is the square things. They're like $75. You don't need that if that's all you want. Now, if you want the full palette to where you can actually all kinds of different makes and colors and all that kind of stuff. But for what I typically do, I use black. And I basically put it around my mouth and my eyes. And that's how I get uh, the effect whenever I've got my mask on, how you can see the depth of everything. And... Um, but it's, uh, it works really, really good. Um, I always get questions about what kind of teeth I use. Well, there's a company called Dental Distortions. And uh, if you can look and see that particular brand, and the teeth that I particularly uh, I use are the Raptor series. Uh, I've used the, the ones that have black, uh, the black gums before, and I've used the one that has the pink. I kind of like the pink ones better because Whenever you see his mouth opened up in JC2, if you hear me say JC1 or JC2, I'm referring to Jeepers Creepers 1 and Jeepers Creepers 2. So, but, uh, you know, I, these are the type of teeth that I use. Um, let's see. Uh, the way I put it on, more or less, is nothing more than uh, taking the, the palette, opening it up, and I normally keep a little sprayer, and this is where you get the 99% alcohol. And you basically put it in here, and it activates it. And you have to let it activate for a second or two. You can't just take it and start smearing it on because it just it, it takes a second for the alcohol to get in there, mix with the paint and stuff, and get it to where it'll start painting. So then you take your brush. And I think I'm going to move the camera closer to the mirror so y'all can actually watch me put this stuff on. Let's go over here. Yep, that's what you want to see, the, the weightlifting machine there. Not sure how good you're gonna be able to see this. Let's see if I can ang angle this up a little bit. It's all gonna be trial and error tonight. <laughs> if I had a person here helping me, it'd be a lot better, but you know, I'll make sure I got it lined up. It's not a too terribly lost because I'm used to doing a lot of this stuff by myself anyway. But um, trust me, the guy that was supposed to be here, he he would he'd love to be here with me right now because I know him and he he enjoys doing the YouTube stuff and you know and he's He's, like I said, he's been one of my best friends since I was about 16. Um, let's see. So if I put right there, let's try it a little bit closer. All right. Well, I hope I can make this work. Or, I know what I can do. I'll turn the camera around to where you can, I can actually see the camera. All right. So, let me move this over here to where I got a little bit more light right here. Okay, 
Okay, and I'm going to slide this slightly over where I can see my face a little bit. I need to slide to where I can actually look into the cameras over here. Here we go. <laughs> I see a few of the uh, messages. I'll get back to all of uh, the chats whenever I get a chance. It's, like I said, I can't type and do all this at the same time, but I do plan on answering as many questions as I can. So, without further ado, let me start to look spooky. So, you got your alcohol-based makeup. And start right here. It's going to be weird doing with this with a camera. Where my mask mainly shows is just the area that I'm painting. So I know you're looking at this like now, it's like, golly, that doesn't look, I mean, that's not showing a whole lot of stuff. So keep doing this. So get it pretty dark this way. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my teeth in to make it easier to um, do it. So So we're gonna start with my top first. One day I want to go. Alrighty. So. And I can talk with the teeth and it just sounds a little weird. It's a little creepy, but that's why you're watching the show, so you can see how creepy I'm going to be tonight. And you get it all done. And you gotta go for the eyes. Now I do the fanning method because you're basically putting the alcohol right beside your eye. And if you don't, it kind of burns. Sometimes if you get it in your eyes, it will burn some. Just keep fanning it and it'll start evaporating. Now I've done this several different ways. If I'm gonna go do some kind of photo shoot where I'm, they're doing extreme, I mean extreme close-ups around my eyes, I'll paint all around the edge of my eye to where you can't see any separation. I normally leave my eyes like this because it's whenever I take pictures with people, it actually, this will show up better whenever you take a picture because if this is all dark and you're in a dark environment as far as at night, like, you know, well, I've normally got lights and stuff, but there's a lot of shadowing and you won't be able to see my eyes hardly if I darken them all the way in. But, so I, I like to leave just a little bit, not, and it, it, it's easier to take it off and it doesn't burn when you do it. So, next eye.
You want to hear a funny story? So uh, I've been playing the Creeper since 2003. And uh, I've, uh, you know, ha normally had makeup around my eyes a lot of the time. I sense now, um, um, like I said, I've been playing a creeper for a very long time and, um, it, uh, This ain't exactly perfect. Normally I'm looking in a mirror. I've never put makeup on looking into a camera. It's kind of different. <laughs> but, uh, but that's what you got to do. You got to fan, fan most of this whenever you're putting it on. Let's see. I got... Several people talking to me. I just can't really answer back at the second. All right. So I got the makeup and stuff on. And um, so now I'm going to put everything else on them. So I'm going to back to, I'm going to reverse the camera. And try to turn it back around. See my shirt? It's a creeper truck shirt. I'm going to be very well. I'm going to have some more of these coming up soon. I just haven't quite got to the ones. Because this was just a test shirt. It's got, uh, you know, the shirt with actually the Creeper's cow behind it and stuff. I really thought it was awesome. Uh, I'm looking at doing some that are uh, a lot more uh, comfortable. These are really hot, especially with the decal on the back and stuff. So, uh, let's put the mask on. <laughs> it's always fun putting this thing on. Especially knowing I don't have to be in it for like six hours. <laughs> Normally when I get in costume, I'm in costume at least. I don't know, the last time I was only in costume two hours. I did it for a birthday party. And that was quite interesting. Uh, it was a 10-year-old uh, birthday party. It had uh, a 10-year-old and 11-year-old. And whenever I come through the door dressed up in full creeper costume, um, little girl seen me and said, if this, I'm out of here. And she took off running and I had to come up and break character and say, I'm not going to hurt you. You know, it's all make believe and stuff, but, uh, it's pretty funny. Oh. Well, I'm going to take this off of here. I keep my mask on a, um, this is what you would use to, this is FX, a CFX sculptor base. Uh, you basically take one of these and you put clay all over it uh, and then you make your monster on top of this and you make a mold of this to build a monster as far as like special effects type stuff. Lots of baby powder. Normally, whenever I store my mask, I've got lots of baby powder and stuff in it. If you can look inside of it, I'm not sure if you can, how well you can see that in there. It's, it's, it's full of baby powder. So I'll uh, take a wet rag and wipe the inside of it out. It's 
especially the face and the head, because normally whenever you start sweating really bad, anything that's up here is going to run down across your face. That's one of the reasons this makeup, excuse me, that's one of the reasons this makeup is so awesome. Because uh, with the way it is, it won't come off and it won't rain. Excuse me. Anything wet, it won't cause the stuff to run. So, let's do it. It's going to be hard to kind of take all the uh, extra white off there. I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, I would Normally, I would have a lot more around my eyes, but with me having to do it the way I'm doing it right now, it's, uh, it's going to be difficult for me to get everything quite perfect. But, uh, you know, it, it works out pretty good. I mean, as far as this is the way the, the cow of everything looks. And, uh, you know, it's got real hair, actually real human hair punched into the back of the mask. You can see I went right there. But, uh, so I put the mask on and I've got a uh, Under Armour type shirt on to keep everything to where you're as cool as you can possibly be. And then you take your shirt And try to expose as much as my neck as I can because, you know, it really is realistic as far as everything. But you get a little bit of distance. Kind of lean down a little bit. The shadow of everything hits. There's a lot of light on me right now with some of my eyes. That, and you can't really see exactly the way you want it, but it's pretty neat. So, put the creeper's jacket on. Pull the hair out the back. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, I've uh, scared people for years doing this stuff, working queue lines and stuff at different haunted houses. So it's it's been, always been a lot of fun, but to get into the costume like this and everything, uh, I'll get into how to remove all the makeup and stuff. I'm going to show you some more of the different props. Uh, uh, if you can see, 
Let me turn this, take this thing down for a second. So what I want to do is I want to angle this thing down. Okay. So this right here, I mentioned it, I think. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, uh, this is actually the screen used piece from Jeepers Creepers Part 2. Uh, the creeper got hit with a harpoon, excuse me, not a harpoon. This is the javelin whenever he was on top of the bus. But this is actually the screen used real deal makeup appliance that Jonathan Breck wore. Uh, let's see if uh, I can figure out how to do some chatting on here. Here we go. Let's see, I've got, uh, uh, let's see if I can go back to some of them. I got Kenny 525 on here. It's awesome to have you here. Um, Alex Alonzo. Um, Sonia Slater. Uh, Josh Price FX. Lori B. Moo. Yeah, that's an inside joke. Y'all won't understand. I got Deanna Rick. Hey. Uh, let's see. John Dempsey. Uh, hey, there's a SD costume guy. He's a really, uh, he's, if y'all want to look up uh, a gentleman that, out in California that's really good at doing costume and stuff, it's SD costume guy. He uh he can do some he does some amazing uh costumes and a little bit of everything but uh if you get a chance you should really go check some of his stuff out. Um, let's see. Stickman Nelson or I'm y'all gonna have to understand <laughs> it's hard to talk with the teeth in so if I mispronounce your name please don't don't get aggravated. Somebody asked me how I felt about Jeepers Creepers 3. Well, my personal opinion, it, it wasn't up to the standard of the other two. But you have to look at, there, there are certain things I really like about Jeepers Creepers 3. Number one, they brought the truck back. And number two, the Creeper, you know, really uh, took care of some vandals that tried to mess his truck up. One of them peed on his truck and peed through rocks at it and... You know, he took care of people that tore his truck up. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> well, that and I'm, I'm, I know several, quite a few people involved with that particular movie. And, you know, I, I, I've met quite a bit of people involved with the franchise and stuff. And everybody is really nice. The actors are nice. Uh, uh, the director is really nice. Uh, everybody, some people I've actually met in person and actually some people I've actually met uh, just via internet like emails and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting, but you've seen how everything goes on, the type of makeup and stuff. Now I'm going to show you the type of makeup I use to take everything off. I'm starting to get hot. So I'm going to get out of this thing. <laughs> so we're going to put this right back in there. Somebody asked if I live in North Carolina, uh, no, uh, I'm based out of South Carolina. I'm on the South Carolina, North Carolina border. Uh, oh, there's fishing with Big Nasty. Hope you feel better, buddy. Tell the funny story. Lord, which one? Um, let's see. Bad Blood Hunter Predator. Actually, I've looked at some of your pictures and stuff. I love some of the stuff you do with the Predator stuff. That's another one of my favorite movies. I love Predator. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. But I've got to come out of this because it'll get really hot really quick. <laughs> so. 
So it's basically the same way it comes on and goes right back off. You have to be careful when you're taking this thing off. Same thing whenever you remove the mask. I'll give everybody one last shot looking at all this. All right, here we go. Taking the mask off. And you see, if you'd had ketchup on everywhere, it'd have been smeared all over the place. But like I said, nothing comes off. That's why this stuff works so awesome. We're going to just set you over here for a second. Oh, mercy. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take my teeth out. But they work pretty good. They creep a lot of people out, especially whenever you're like, you're up when your mouth's shut and you come walking up and they're like, you're not scary. And you're like, It creeps people out. Another thing that's kind of fun to do to pick on people is <laughs> I'll be standing in line and working a queue line or something and I'll stand over there and I'll just kind of look at somebody and they'll, you know, throw their hand on their hip and they're like, oh, you're not scary. I'm not scared of you. And I'll look at them and stuff and I'm like, I just kind of just won't say nothing. I just keep staring at them. And I'll slowly, I'll point at something that's over near where they're at. And the natural reaction of most people, whenever you point something, they go, so the second they look at what I'm pointing at, when they turn back around, I'm right here. And it usually causes them just to about jump out of their skin, especially if they're out like at a haunt somewhere or something. So all you Q-line actors, remember that one. <laughs> oh, it feels better. So I can talk and I'm normal now. Well, I've never been normal. So <laughs> people used to pick on me all the time at work and stuff, different things I've done. And they were like, what are you going to do your spooky thing? I'm like, yeah. But um, the other thing is uh, I was going to do is in uh, the Halloween season, I was at a haunted attraction and I ran out of these, which are the license plates I sell for the truck. And I promised, um, one of the um, little girls that, uh, I can't say, one of the ladies that came up uh, to the event, uh, I ran out of license plates and I got some more now. So Lauren, who lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, this is coming to you. I've got the pen. I'm getting ready to sign it. Well, I'm gonna wait till I'm off here because I've got, I don't wanna get makeup on it and stuff, but this will be your tag and I'm gonna ship it off. Uh, if anybody's interested in getting a tag, they're $20 uh, and plus whatever it costs to ship it because I haven't really shipped a lot of them, so I'm not sure exactly what it'll be. I'm going to try to check into that, but I've got PayPal and stuff set up. Uh, and the trucks, you know, the, the tags and stuff are, you know, I, you can buy other tags online, but they're not got my signature on them, and they're not mine basically are coming from the truck. So I would take you out and we do... That's one of the other things I'll do whenever it gets a little bit warm right now. Everything is frozen outside, so there's no sense in trying to go out and do anything. Of that. Um, but we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a, another live video with the, the truck. Um, but let's see. So let's take this stuff off. That way you can see how easy this stuff comes off. The stuff that I use is a, um, it's, um, an orange citrus type mixture is called, um, it's made by Ben Nye, uh, and I believe it's called Bondolf. Um, by the way, you know how weird it is whenever you're, you know, six foot six, 
about 250, 260 pounds and you're walking into the women's section, you know, like a Walmart or like a, a Sally Beauty Supply and you're buying makeup removers and stuff and they kind of look at you and you're, you know, you're like, don't judge. <laughs> but uh, I left, uh, I was in a Waffle House one time about two o'clock in the morning after one night and I, uh, I was taking, uh, I didn't get all the makeup off and somebody asked me, what's the deal with you having makeup on? I told him I was a drag queen. And uh, I didn't say anything. I was just, I said it and just like really serious. And they were like, are, are, are you for real? I was like, yeah, I'm a drag queen. I said, it's a, it's a pain trying to find size 13 high heels. Good gracious. <laughs> no, I'm not a drag queen. I was kidding. But, um, so I take that. Get some bond off on it and I kind of blot around the eyes and I blot on there just enough to get to where it activates a little bit and starts getting to where it thing because once it gets some on it then you can start wiping it Now, it takes a couple of times to do this. It's not the easiest thing to do. But you're getting the general idea of how it goes on and it comes off. Oh, mercy. So, you you see how it comes off and stuff. Um, like I said, normally it takes several different applications of this stuff to try to get everything to where it's, you know, you don't look like you got something on your face. But, like I said, hopefully some of these things I'm teaching, I'm talking about, will help some of you. Especially, I know there's a bunch of people out there that want to build creeper suits and all that kind of stuff. And if you have questions about that, send me a message on uh, one of my social media chains, one of my, my social media outlets, because the, the Creeper's Truck YouTube channel uh, it's just a YouTube channel. I have, if you get on Facebook, it's the Creeper's Truck Facebook page. Or if you get to Instagram, it's the Creeper's Truck Instagram page. But any of that kind of stuff, you know, you send me a message on any of that stuff, I'll get back to you when I can. I've been really busy the last little bit trying to get some stuff done. The biggest thing this year when all this COVID stuff hit is I took the truck offline and basically took apart and rebuilt it. Maxed out a credit card at the same time. But, you know, it'll get better. It's just money. I'll make more. <laughs> I got about five or six different jobs I do all different times. What? Oh, mercy. You're in a swig of water. Oh. All right. Well, once I get this off, then I'm going to get on here and start reading the messages and see if I can answer some questions. I wanted to get all this stuff off first. All right.
Oh, me. I have never, ever took makeup off by using the camera. So I'm gonna have to go off and get it off again. Once this thing's done. Let's see where that towel go. One second. All right. It always helps to have a, normally I always have a towel and a bottle of water because whenever you start taking the stuff off, it kind of gets in your eyes and blurs your vision a little bit. And it's always nice whenever you uh, come out of costume to uh, uh, basically take all the makeup off your face and everything off your head and stuff. And it feels good because you've more than likely been in a costume about six or seven hours. So, but um, let me grab the phone and get a place to sit so I can answer some questions because I know there's going to be a bunch of people. They're curious about some things. So, all right. Stickman, thank you, Stickman. I appreciate you seeing I look good in the mask. Yeah, the have I ever just used cornstarch? Uh, you talk about I'm assuming that that's using uh, cornstarch baby powder is pretty much the same thing. Uh, I just baby powder I've just gotten used used to using it. I use normally get like the aloe vera kind. It kind of helps keep you know because if i'm in the costume especially around the halloween season it gets hot and stuff and i'm trying to keep from you know anything getting messing my eyes up and stuff hey here's one of my cousins kenny jackson there kenneth jackson excuse me lauren says the second one is definitely the best I like the I like Jake Cooper's part two. I like the only reason I like one best because one has my truck in it, and um, it's just the one was just so creepy. Um, but um, Prescott Scott asked, "Where'd you get the teeth?" Well, earlier in the video, I talked about when I first put them in. The teeth are uh, from this company right here, which is Dental Distortions, and it's actually the Raptor series. So. Um, if they ever made JC4, would you stand in for the creeper? If they ever make JC4 and they need a stand in, I'd be more than happy to. Or if Jonathan decides he doesn't want to do it anymore, I would definitely volunteer. Um, I know enough people that, you know, have seen some of the stuff I've done that, you know, I have a, your, I'd probably have a better than average chance of doing something like that. But honestly, Jonathan is the creeper and he, I feel very sure that whenever the, if and when they make the next installments, he'll be, um, um, he'll be the one, he'll be the creeper. So Lori B, have you ever met the actors from Jeepers Creepers? I have, I have met, uh, if you've seen Jeepers Creepers part two, um, Let's see, um, the guy that plays Taggart. Um, golly, I'm having a, a minute. I've got pictures with him. Ray Wise. I've met uh, Ray before, and I, sat, I talked to him several times. He's really nice. He actually called a couple of people and sit, asked him about getting me involved with the next one because of me having the truck and everything. Uh, the other people I met was uh, uh, the brother and sister, uh, Gina Phillips and Justin Long. Uh, they were uh, at uh, a. Uh, I can't do that. They were at an event uh, that I was at with a creeper truck uh, this past year. Um, no, it was uh, 
not this past year. It was the first year I got the truck. It was a, it was a, what do you call it? Goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, the Horror Hound Convention in Indianapolis. And uh, I was there and I had an amazing time. Met all kinds of really awesome Creeper fans. That's where I bought my creep, my critters. They were up there. Um, I'm a science fiction nut too. So, but they had a, a critter there and they had an albino critter. I had to have both of them. I also like pumpkin head, as you can see the pumpkin here and actually the, the big pumpkin head back there. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Kenny said you should do a Q and a for a while. That's what I'm working on doing. Um, Let's see. The teeth are cool. I appreciate it. I've been working for a long time to get everything where it is. Sandy Ellens. Yes. The, the stair scares scare the heck out of everybody. They absolutely do. Um, not me. Stick my nose. <laughs> well, not everybody. I mean, it's like whenever I go to a haunted house, I mean, I'm bomb proof. I mean, if you get me, you're going to get me with a startle scare. I mean, there's something that j jumps up or jumps out at me like towards my face and I jump back for as far as like reflex type X. And as far as actually being scared, eh, I I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty bomb proof. I had all, all kinds of crap happen to me when I was little. So any of the stuff involving movies or special effects and that done because I've been involved with several uh, different things where they've used special effects makeup and stuff. And, uh, you know, so I don't, I'm not too much worried about much of any of that. Let's see. <laughs> the eyes you look like the bandit from Christmas Story Kenneth Jackson wrote <laughs> I did yeah I know what you're talking about that's a good movie yeah, if it wasn't so cold I'd, 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 walk, I'd walk out there and go around the truck uh, I hope they really make a fourth I'm assuming they're actually going to make a fourth and probably more than that uh, Kenny525 asked um JC one creeped me out for the first time seeing it. It actually, I enjoyed the first movie. Uh, it, it creeped out a lot of people, but it was funny. Um, four step, multiple creepers. I, that'd be a good idea because I'd have a chance to get involved with it. I got makeup around my eye. <laughs> I got to get all that off. Let's see. I'm at the end of the questionnaire. Let's see. Does anybody have any other questions about anything? Anything that I could do? Um, I'm actually, when I get off here, I'm going to, um, I'm in the process of uh, uh, watching some more, streaming some uh, videos and stuff. I've uh, been watching a TV show called Banshee. Uh, I have never seen it and I'm in it. <laughs> there's a scene, uh, I forgot what, uh, there's a, uh, the TV show Banshee that was filmed up around this area, there's a uh, a scene in it where you had an FBI SWAT team and you had the actors that was there. Um, he actually played in the third Robocop movie. I can't remember his name right this second. Um, but he was, I actually get a, got to be right there and I'm not in there for about, you know, maybe three to five seconds, but I got a good face shot in that, that particular thing. But I'm going to go watch that. You want me to do like a walk? Uh, I'm in the process of we've got the this room one has actually got carpet in it. The rest of it we've ripped all the carpet up. Everything is, you know, uh, we've ripped off the carpet up, tore uh, stuff off the walls in some spots. We're doing a, a restoration and uh, or renovation. Excuse me, not a restoration. I've been working on trucks too much, um, but. Um, Some of you ask if uh, I know the creeper you say hi to him. I've, it's been a long time since I actually uh, had any kind of message with uh, Jonathan Breck. Um, he actually, uh, he's, he's signed quite a bit of things for me uh, over the years. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can flip this thing around. Okay. 
So if you can see to Troy, the Creeper's cousin beating you, Jonathan Breck, and you know, to Troy, the Creeper's cousin, Jonathan Breck, and then I've got a few other ones over here and there, but a lot of people can have those things, but what nobody else has got is these thank you notes. I've got thank you from Jonathan. A couple of them I actually bought uh, some stuff from him and sent to, actually I sent, had uh, the creep, the, originally whenever I didn't own the truck, I had actually got an autograph for somebody else and sent it to him. But um, anyway, uh, I think uh, here, uh, mainly because uh, I've got some, I've got to clean up some, and then I've got to eat something and get ready to go to bed because I got to work tomorrow. But uh, thank everybody so much for watching, and I, I will definitely do this again. Uh, I've just got to I'll get a little bit more content and some other stuff. But uh, anyway, thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.